Alyssa. Happy September. I'm so happy to be with you today. Now today, in this whole month, we are gonna be talking about a guy from the Bible named Joseph. Now, do you wanna know a really cool fact about Joseph? Joseph had 11 brothers. Can you believe that? 11 brothers. That's so many brothers. Let's count to 11, okay? Can you count with me? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Wow, can you imagine having 11 brothers? It would be so loud, a little crazy, a lot of fun. So Joseph had 11 brothers and we're gonna hear about those brothers today in our story. But I bet you're wondering what that ice cream is doing behind me. Now, our whole month, we are talking about how God has a plan for us just like he had a plan for Joseph. And his plan has lots of parts. So think of that ice cream behind me. You see the chocolate syrup and the sprinkles and the whipped cream and the cherry. Now, isn't an ice cream sundae so much better when all of those pieces are put together on top of the ice cream? I think so. Well, just like the ice cream, Joseph's story has lots of parts, and sometimes we just have to wait to see how God puts it all together, and he always makes it good. God always makes our story good because he has a plan for us. So, on the count of three, I want you to think about it for just a second, but I want you to think about your favorite ice cream topping. Is it the chocolate syrup? Is it the sprinkles? Is it the whipped cream? Or maybe you're like me and your favorite part is the cherry on top. So I want you to think about it. Okay, on the count of three, we're gonna scream out our answer so loud. Ready? One, two, three, cherries! Awesome, that's so much fun. All right, well, let's go ahead and stand up. We're gonna sing some songs together and thank God for today and for making us and for always having a plan for our lives. So stand up and let's sing together.
he do? He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me That's what I know, no, that's what I know That's what I know, no, that's what I know Let's go! I know that I can trust him yeah. I know that I can trust him yeah. No matter what the season yeah. His plans are for a reason yeah. I know they are good I know they are best The reason I love Is because he said He's got a plan for me He's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me He's got a plan for me He's got a plan He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me That's what I know, oh, that's what I know That's what I know, oh, that's what I know And when I'm feeling so sad I was just about to do something really fun and exciting. Do you want to help me? Great! I was hoping you'd say that. My mom gave me this big bin of stuff to look through. She said it will help me with my plan for a very special party. An ice cream sundae party. I am so excited. Let's look inside. Whoa! Check out these colorful ice cream bowls. These definitely need to be part of my party plan. Oh yes, spoons. You can't eat an ice cream sundae without spoons. Spoons definitely have to be part of this party plan. And so are these decorations. These streamers are perfect. Who, who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who? Who? Planning a party, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I'm putting together my plan for the very best ice cream sundae party the clubhouse has ever seen. I'm so excited. Party planning is fun. It's true. I have a story about a different plan to tell you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. I'm Casey, and I'm helping out at the Cupcake Food Truck. Happy Ice Cream Sunday Month! <laughs> and what better thing to go with ice cream than... Cupcakes! See the little ice cream cones on top? I made them for my friend's ice cream Sunday party. He has big plans for his party. That reminds me of today's story. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One. Two, three, tell me a story. Okay, 
So today's true story from the Bible is all about a plan. Did you know that God has a plan for you? It's true! God has a plan for us. And he had a plan for Joseph too, like we see in this true story from the Bible. This is Joseph. Hi, Joseph. <laughs> Joseph had 11 brothers. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Whoa! That's a lot of brothers. <laughs> One day, Joseph's father gave him a special gift. It was a coat, an absolutely beautiful coat. When the brothers saw Joseph had a special coat and they didn't, how do you think they felt? Do you think they felt happy? Show me your happy face. Or do you think they felt mad? Show me your mad face. Which do you think they were? Yes, they were mad that Joseph had a special coat and they didn't. So they took Joseph's coat away and threw him in the ground. That's not good. That would make me sad or mad or even scared. But do you know what? Joseph knew that God loved him and he knew that God was always with him so he could trust God's plan. Just then, his brother showed up and pulled Joseph out of the hole. Uh-oh, what are they doing? The brothers sent Joseph with some people going to Egypt and they took him really, really, really far away. Things were not going well for Joseph, but he knew that God loved him and he knew that God was always with him so he could trust God's plan. God loved Joseph and had a plan for him. In fact, there is a lot more of Joseph's story to tell. And God loves us and he has a plan for us too. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> hey, Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God had a plan for Joseph, and he has a plan for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a story. Joseph must have been really scared, but he knew God loved him and was always with him, so he could trust in God's plan. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Well, speaking of plans, I need to get some help planning for this ice cream sundae party. I think I'm gonna get my friends to help. I'll see you guys next time, goodbye. Our Bible story today was about a guy named Joseph. Now, it didn't matter to Joseph whether he was getting a special coat, being thrown in a big hole, do you remember that part of the story? How awful. Or even being sent away from his brothers. He always trusted that God had a plan for his life and that that plan would be good. He knew God was with him and he trusted him. That is amazing. Now our memory verse this whole month talks about how God has a plan for us. And we never wanna forget that, okay? So I'm gonna say the verse and then I'll teach you the motions. It says this, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. And that's from the book of Jeremiah in the Bible, chapter 29, verse 11. So we say, Jeremiah 29, 11. All right, now let me teach you the motions, okay? It goes like this. For I know, you're gonna point to your head, and now you're gonna march. The plans I have for you says, pretend like you're shouting, says, and then point up to God, the Lord. 
and put your hands like a Bible. Jeremiah 29, 11. All right, let's say it one more time. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Okay, last time, let's say it a little faster. Here we go. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Awesome job, guys. Give yourself a round of applause. Amazing. That is so true. God has a plan for your life, and it's amazing, and I can't, to see, can't wait to see what he has in store for you. Let's go ahead and pray together. Bow your heads, close your eyes, and let's pray. Dear God, thank you for each child watching church today. Thank you for the way you've made them with special thoughts and abilities. I pray as they grow up, they will dream big, work hard, and always trust that you love them and that you have a plan for them, no matter what happens. We love you, God. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, well, y'all have an amazing week. And I can't wait to see you next week. Bye.